place I've heard. It's cheap. Good morning, Saints, and well, happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Today is Monday, October 31st, 2022. Happy birthday over the weekend to Madison Kuo, Brianna Massalonius, Eric Strathman, Connor Becker, Courtney Brickemeyer, Brett Seal, Andrew, and Andrew Totten. Happy birthday today to Madeline McMullen. The saint of the day today is St. Wolfgang of Regensburg. St. Wolfgang of Regensburg served many years as a teacher before becoming a Benedictine monk. He was named the Bishop of Regensburg by the Emperor and served reluctantly but well until his death in 994. In St. Sports last week, on Saturday, the cross-country teams both finished placing second at the state championships, and Colby King was the individual state champion. Carter File was 12th, Luke Wally 25th, Noah Rackness 38th, Charlie Heap 41st, Noah Satin 55th, and Lance Mead 56th. The girls were led by Sophia Spinello in 3rd, and Anna DiCarlo was 18th, Greta Kelly 25th, Lily Muck 26th, Quinn Babcock 27th, Lily Blofuss 37th, and Amelia Riddle 38th. Also, on Saturday, girls volleyball won in Salina against St. James and came home with the state title. Way to go, ladies! Football also won their game against Paola, throwing them into the next round of the playoffs. There will be a short informational meeting on Thursday for all girls interested in playing basketball this year today in the main gym immediately after school. See Coach Hetzel if unable to attend. Hey Saints! Hey what? Did you know that National French Week starts this week? Uh, no, I just did not know that. <laughs> That's right, and we're kicking things off with an Aquinas guest speaker sponsored by the French Club. This Thursday, November 3rd, during STA period, come to room 104 to learn how French can change your life. Miss Plum, mother of current juniors Megan and Cla Caroline Plum, will be here to share ex her experience with us. All are welcome, and please sign up using the QR codes posted around the buildings. French students see Google Classroom this week to learn about the requirements for extra credit. Reminder, the DC March for Life trip is open for registration. Freshmen, you can sign up too. This is a very memorable trip in your high school experience. Being the capital city, traveling on the metro subway, seeing the sights of DC, and marching with hundreds of thousands of people to show the country that we want to protect life. It's an experience like no other, and, and you also get 15 hours of corporal service. Sign up soon. We need your registration by Friday, November 4th. An email was actually sent Thursday with all the details. Any questions, see Ms. Loafman, Mr. Bess, Ms. Jones, or Ms. Radio. The canned food drive starts this week, and you need to help your grade win and bring the most cans in to get class competition points. Theme is Kentucky Derby shirts, and shirts can be purchased during lunch. This is the biggest service project we do at Aquinas all year. We need your help. Throughout this week, you can wear your canned food drive shirt with uniform bottoms, and here's a video for you. Hello Saints, we are here at the Catholic Charities Hope Distribution Center and today we're here to show you what happens to your cans when they leave Aquinas. Imagine a big Aquinas truck right here. We're going to unload it and come through here. Follow me. After the cans come off the truck, they go here to be sorted and placed on shelves. Let's go look at the sorting room. This is where the food gets sorted. After the food gets sorted and stocked, it gets sent to the eight food pantries that feed the 21 counties of the Archdiocese. All right, today we are here with? Pat McEnany. All right, Pat, and what made you want to start working here at Catholic Charities? Well, a couple years ago with COVID, um, we lost a lot of the volunteers. And so I just thought it was, and I had just retired from work. So I thought it was good to, uh, to come out here and help. Right. So what is the impact of what you're doing here? Why do you keep coming back, keep volunteering? Well, it's, it's the gospel, right? Uh, love your God with all your heart and mind and love your neighbor as yourself. And this is the great way to love your neighbor. No doubt about it. You kind of live in a bubble in Overland Park, yeah. right? Until you come out here and you really see your neighbor, it's a great way to, uh, to encounter them and to give them love and to uh, be of service to them. Awesome, thank you. As you can see, St. Thomas Aquinas has a huge impact on the communities that Catholic Charities serves. So keep up the good work, Saints, and let's have a great canned food drive this year.
Duco, on the menu today in the Saints Cafe is buffalo chicken pita. Mm -mm -mm. Now it's time for the word of the day. The word of the day today is figment. Figment means a thing that someone believes to be real but only exists in their imagination. Let's not make good grades a figment of your imagination, Saints. Get your work done. Wow, I just did not know that. Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you tomorrow. I'm Emily. I'm Brett. Signing off. Remember, stay classy, Saints, embrace and embrace the, the moment. moment.